For Thanksgiving, Kelly and Michael McCoy learned how hard it can be spending holidays away from family. We did not get to join them for Thanksgiving activities because uh, we were in quarantine uh, for COVID. We, we got COVID earlier in November. But for Christmas, they learned it can be much, much worse. My mom woke up um, with the symptoms. It started the day after Thanksgiving for Diana McCoy, and over the next week, the symptoms worsened. She died on December 9th. Days later, Michael called his father, Dennis. I could tell he wasn't right. He was struggling to breathe. I called 911, and then by Monday evening, he passed away. Two parents, married 52 years, taken just six days apart by COVID-19. A family that took precautions, made the sacrifices, and still couldn't escape it. They would not go anywhere. They, they did their uh, groceries. Um, you know, like the Walmart pickup, brought them out to the car. Their family's not sure how Dennis and Diana contracted the virus, but a Christmas day without them, far worse than the Thanksgiving they spent apart, especially for the three grandchildren and two great-grandchildren. She's ready to go see me, Mom, Papa, and they're not there. A cruel way to end a year that's been long and hard for everyone, but the McCoys hope other families keep the masks, keep the distance, and keep isolating. A lot of people I think have put their guards down since we have been living in this for close to a year, going on a year. Because as tough as it may be, it's better than saying goodbye forever. My in-laws that they didn't go anywhere, they still got the virus and passed away within, you know, a week. In Dallas, I'm Chris Sadegui.